Hello everybody, this is Denise Margaret. Let's go ahead and do pick a card reading your next 72 hours. What's coming your way? What's the heads up? What do you need to know? I'm going to do a pick a card and then I'm going to come back and do a general quick for the shorts. So you can go ahead and take a look at both if you're interested. So you can go ahead and pick the light blue heart, the pink heart, or the yellow heart. So what crystal are you interested in? Go ahead and pick one of your colors, blue, pink, or yellow, and we will go ahead and get started. And as you all know, I do offer personal readings. All the information's in the comment section if you're interested. Okay, for those that chose the blue crystal heart, let's go ahead and take a look here. Your next 72 hours, what will be so? What's coming your way? Let's grab that here. Your next 72 hours, what is coming your way? Pile one, please. Next 72 hours. Oh, what are you thinking of? New beginnings, making a choice. Doing some research. There's some blocks and there's a crossroad, okay? You're a master at what you do. You also have a manipulator around you. Let me go ahead and pull another card. Wow, there you go, okay. These are Lenormand, so they're not read in reverse, at least not for me. Okay, so your core card is you're actually at a crossroads. So for the next 72 hours, you do have a message coming in. You do have to make a decision. You're not quite sure. You may have a little brain fog, cloudy thinking, not sure if it's the right thing for you to do. Love and or business, you're at a crossroads right here. Could be about a love situation, could be about something that you do love to do for a job, could be a shift and change because you have the new moon, the new beginnings here that crowned you actually here. There's some challenges and changes, but you're the master number right here. There is some cloudy thinking. Now, there could be somebody who's egotistical, arrogant, and stubborn here as well, okay? And that's what you're looking at. If you can, we'll do this category here. You're looking at a crossroads going, hmm, I don't know if I should go back to that or not because this person's got a little attitude. They're arrogant. They're just a little bit egotistical. They're a work in progress. Should I go back to this offer that's coming in? Because you do have the offer right down here. There's a message coming. Now look, you're a master exactly at what you do. All you have to do is do a little bit more research here. Could be some music involved, music, meditation music, or just maybe you just, you know, really want to go ahead and get into whatever type of music really gets you in the mood. Um, for some of you, I'm hearing jazz. There's um, a lot of rock and roll. There's uh, there's just a lot. There's some soul. There's some blues. Whatever it is that gets you in the mood to really lift your inspiration. But they're saying there's music and research to help you make a decision. You have new beginnings right here. You're blocking yourself by that lower negative. I, uh, should I? Should I not? It's a question. You're fearing and doubting it won't work. So therefore, of course, it's not because that's where you're putting your energy. So they're saying you actually have a wish fulfillment. There's a message coming in of something that you love to do or a person that's coming in that maybe you want to reconcile or try one more time. So it's totally up to you, but that's what you're going through in the next 72 hours. Whatever you decide to do because you have the new moon in the heart, it's something you love to do that is going to bring you in something better than where you have been, if that makes sense. So let's move on to the next. Okay, pile two that shows the pink crystal heart for pile two. Let's go ahead and take a look at your next 72 hours. And that one just wants to flip right over. Okay, what will be so for the next 72 hours for pile two, please? Okay, I don't want to shuffle anymore right there. Let's grab these. What's being cut out? What's going on? Oh, God. Okay, well... Your next 72 hours, you're leaving something. What are you leaving? Ooh, it could be a love situation. Family. Crossroads. Ooh, look at that. Look at that bitchy person right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so there's something here on the internet. Could be family. It's deeply rooted. There's something here that you're at a crossroads with. You do have a day of a new dawn. There's somebody who's an instigator. You may be walking away from that person. Jealous, envious, third-party situation for some. Boy, there's a lot here. I'm going to read it a couple different ways. So your core card is challenging, right? There's some changes. Deeply rooted, solid foundation. It took a long time to grow that mighty oak tree, so it's not happening overnight. Whatever this is in the next 72 hours, you have some challenges and some changes of something that's solid. What's solid for you? Your business, your money, your love? What is it? Okay, because you do have love of what your foundation is. I hope that made sense there for you. What crowned you is the coffin. Not a physical death, but something's ending. Something's ending that you have been deeply rooted. Now, sometimes a rejection is universe's protection because you've been doing something for a while. It's probably not good for you. It's not working out the way that you want. You keep trying to whip it over and over 
um, trying to force it, trying to make it happen. You're trying every which way to make it work. If it's not working on its own and you're doing all that work, good God, that's just too much work to be forcing something. So if you have to force something, it's not meant for you. What's meant for you will never pass you by. And I say that because you have a day of a new dawn right down here. You have something new that's actually coming in. You have two fives here, okay? So there's a lot of challenges and changes. You do have something you need to pay attention to with a message coming in, internet, long distance here as well. So you could be talking to somebody here on the phone, on internet. You get a phone call. You reach out. Whatever the situation is, it could be love that was deeply rooted, okay, that you've invested a lot of time, and you may not be staying wherever it is you're at. You're at a crossroads. Could be a job situation, too. Could be family members. You could be moving away. Should I move? Should I take this new job? Something's ending so that you could have something bigger, better, more. But what's crowning you here is the scythe. This something, it cuts quick, okay? Something's coming in unannounced, unexpected, that something is ending, whether you're doing it or someone's coming to you telling you it's over, there's the keys to success. So this is telling me that this is a blessing in disguise over what you love, okay, that you've invested time in. It's going to cause you to have, you know, a crossroads. You're, you're going to have to figure this out in the next 72 hours. For some, I feel it's a job that you're, you're, you're moving, you're traveling, okay? You're being asked, you can have this beautiful job, more money, great, everything you want, dream job, but you got to relocate. And that could mean relocate to a different state, or maybe you got to, you know, move two hours away from where you're at. Go to the corporate office, whatever that means for you. You do have somebody here who's jealous, envious, stirs the pot. Could be when I have these three right here, okay, something's being cut out. Now, I do want to say something here. I normally don't, but I'm going to bring it up. Number one, there's some type of relationship that is ending. It's over. Somebody was jealous, whatever the situation is. There was a third-party situation here that was too much interference. Could be family, could be too many people up in your business. I also want to say when I get these two right here, this is a wake-up call. I do have the death card. I don't like to bring this up, but I'm going to have to because it's here. When I have the scythe cutting out the heart with a major shift and change going into the physical death, somebody could be having a heart attack, okay, Because or heart surgery. When I have the scythe in the heart just like that, they either did make it, they may not make it, whatever it is, Somebody needs to watch their heart, but somebody may be set up for heart surgery. Maybe they had it in the month of July. Whatever this is, it's here. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next, so I hope that helps. Okay, for pile three that chose the yellow crystal heart for pile three, let's go ahead and take a look and see what your next 72 hours are. What's in store for the next 72 hours for pile three, please? Oh, that one wants to come out. We'll grab that one right there. Your next 72 hours. Well, somebody's definitely moving. Wow, somebody's being given a gift as well. So somebody could be moving from their home or thinking about moving. Maybe your lease, your contract is up as well. Time is of the essence. Yeah, something's over here. Okay, let's take a look, see what we've got here. Next 72 hours. These are Lenormand cards, so they're read quite different. There is an ending. Okay, pile two, yeah, that could have possibly been a physical death in pile two. Not this one here. And that's for somebody, or you know, it's not for everybody. But I have the death card again here in pile three. So there is something with a job or something um, institution. So maybe you're ending a job, but your ship comes in. You're moving on with that. You're moving away from that. Now, for others, you could definitely be relocating the way that's going here. There is a relocation of moving so you can get your job because this is institution, okay? This is institution. This is bank. This is um, a big job. It's a corporation, but I do, and I'm going to start at the bottom here. There is an ending, okay, with the death card. So something's ending with that, but you're moving on. Okay, with the ship. So it could be international too. Okay, it could be something international. Maybe some people are trying to move over to do a job um, intern or whatever that is uh, for international, or you're just going to take your job overseas or whatever that situation is because this is a general read. But this is definitely telling me that there is some type of ending that you're moving on, but you're moving on to calmer waters, something better. Okay, I'm going to go back up here because you have something here, you have a message. 
about our home. Some of you guys may be um, taking your job from the office to home and working from home. So there's movement, like the job in the office is ending because now you're going to work from home. There's, there's many reasons that this could be because it's general, right? It's not specific unless you get a personal reading. But this is a gift. So it's a gift for somebody in the home that there's a movement in a home. Either you're moving home, taking a business home, you're definitely moving away from your home. There's love here too with the family tree. Okay, there's something here deeply rooted here. And something is, is being uh, taken from you here. When I have the mice and I have the death card here, it's just a transformation. Let's put it that way. There's a shift and change of something in your home sector that's deeply rooted that you love to do. So maybe somebody's actually moving forward because you're moving in with somebody else with love situation as well. There's something here with work. There's something here with a shift and change of money. I want to get some clarifiers, so let me go ahead and grab that. Let me grab these real quick here. Because there's a major shift and change. Somebody could be traveling more, your business, you're grabbing a different job that takes you to travel so you're being pulled away from your home and you're not going to be around your loved ones because this is a good deal for you to take this job and it is going to cause you to be away from your home a little bit longer but it brings a lot of money and stability in your home. So that's for somebody out there. Let me wrap this up by grabbing one more card. Yeah, there's a message right here. So go ahead and take heed. You have new beginnings. It's choices. It does uh, give you celebration. You have your elders, ancestors, guides, guardians, angels. They're all telling you this message for you. Whatever this is that takes you from your home is actually really good for you. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for stopping by.